Hey, and welcome back to Zinez. I'm Rob, and I'm here to be today back in our Let's Play facility here on this beautiful red planet. In the last episode, we made a semi-stable, yet not very efficient, atmospheric control system where you see we run about 47 moles a tick, and that is only if the pressure in these pipes are quite high. We also managed to set up the beginning of our deep miners. We have four of them, plus our Boston centrifuge, sorry, and our recycler right there. Today, however, we want to automate this a little bit, actually a lot, and we also want to remodel so we don't have this pipe in this particular way. I've already started a little bit. I've added a lamp up here, which is going to be an alarm uh, for all of them. And then we're going to have some LEDs, more pumps and stuff. Before we do anything, I'll turn all of them off, remove all the pipe, and then we'll crack on. So bear with me for a minute while I do that. So now that we have adjusted the pipe, you see they're pretty much... I haven't done that fully over there, but we'll do that later. But now you can see they're pretty much as it was on the original way of handling atmospherics. So we'll have the main unsorted pipe here. I'll of course have to paint it so it fits the colors. And we will then have some pumps here. Now, first thing we're going to add is a, is a um, pipe analyzer right here. I mean, you can put it anywhere you want. Then we, for each, uh, each filtration unit, you're gonna have a in feed, out feed, and same thing here. You're gonna have an in feed, then out feed, or outgoing. Here you have in feed and outgoing again. This one is days, which is just pumping out to this to the. Um, tanks but these will are the crucial and they will all have them so in theory we will actually go up in power but we won't really go up in power because we're not going to use them all the time let's just move the chip let's pipe everything up do, 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 do. so lovely And the last one. Right. Right. So all the pipes are on. Then we have three LEDs, one for each. We'll put an LED right there. Pop an LED right there. And we pop an LED right there. And we pull out the cables, take a cable cutter. I already have it. And because of my layout, I actually have a quick way of doing it here. Because there's already a cable right here, which is great. Got another one here. And then we just connect the analyzer plus the pumps. And let me just move that. Cut that because I want it to be looking quite neat. And pull them over there. So turn. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. And straight curve. Straight again. And curve. Curve and straight. There we have it because that was that was pump here originally. So that's good. Now there's another thing we need to cable up. That's the tanks. We need <clears throat> we need the tanks because with this system, we're going to pump. I'll, I'll show you when we get to it. But we need the tanks. We need to read from the tanks to have a secure, secure, um, how to say it, secure. So we don't overpressure the system, basically. Um, yes, I have more. I thought so. Oh, look at this color scheme here we're going on. This is not good. Awesome. Oh, you can go in there. 
Uh, one thing I need to do is also remove that because this, in terms of pressure, will explode. So we'll just remove that one for now. We might, I might add later on. Um, so I'm gonna do. Oh, let's just turn him on. Let's, what, what do we have? We have quite a lot of oxygen. We have 96% of oxygen in here. That's quite a lot. So here, this has been running since we installed it. Of course, I've used a little more oxygen tank, but you see not a lot. How many moles do we have? We have. Yes, I made an update to my uh, tablet. We have 112 moles. Nothing. It's been running for a very long time. So I'm going to do something crazy here. I'm going to remove it to show you the speed of this. Mm -hmm. Good. Nothing. Awesome. And that is just going over here. Right. The next thing is is the logic so let's start with so we will start off with taking our chip for the for the oxygen so we can get that one going and see how much it actually makes while we do those two so we pop the chip into the computer so this is the code i have here and it's called filtration mark 2 because the original one didn't have all this fancy stuff so here we'll write oxygen this we'll take that and we'll start naming stuff yes it's very crucial that they're named so the first one the feet for the tracing is called feet oxygen pump or oxygen pump feet yeah the next one is just called pump same goes for this one also called pump this one is called oxygen led and that one is called oxygen tank so, awesome. Then we need a screwdriver. So, in all, all in all, we have we have the D one, D zero, and D one here for the analyzer and the tank. Then we do a setting for the filtration um, the unit. They they actually take this one out. Pop it over here. So the setting is set to fifty. I don't know if that actually makes any difference, but I set to hundred just to be sure. Also, we adjust the mode, but that's in the chip. The mode is if it's physically running or not. Not turn on and off, because if you turn it off, you, the IC chip doesn't install. Oh. Let, oh, go away again. I don't need you anymore. So, the tank, the analyzer, the tank, the setting, done. Then we have the min, the norm, and the max. That is the pressure of the in pump, in feed area, so over here. We don't want it to be too high, we don't want it to be too low. So we, we save these three values here and we add a new setting for the for the pump. So so now we have three aliases here. This is the pump feed name, the pump name is pump D. That is because I use these has names in a lot of places in the code and I don't want to change it every time. So I can just change these three and then it's changed everywhere else. So down here I uh, uh, define three hash names. So the LD, which is the light above the, the filtration unit. The pumps, which is the three volume pumps, and the alarm light, which is the the light up there. <clears throat> now start first. We start with the pause because why not? Then we read the value of the fil filter um, of these ones. So these are currently zero. That's not good. So I read the value here. In those two. So what what is the value on 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 slot zero and slot one? And then I combine them total, so I find the total well, the total amount left. And then I do I already now a light red. The light red will turn the light to red, turn the light on, turn on the flashing light. It also stop the pumps. The pump, the, the reason why I stop the pumps is because there's no point in the pump in running with if this is zero because it won't filter filter anything. So that is why it's doing our read up here. Next thing, we check that one for uh, the, the, the 
the ratio of in this case oxygen in this section in this unsorted un pipe so here is 96 it's 96 so that's 0 0.96 because it's uh, percentages and with this r4 we will check here if it's 50 percent more than 50 percent then it will start if it's less than five percent it will stop you can adjust these as, as you want to we also read the pressure of the tank and if that pressure is above 45 so that's 45,000 kilopascal or 45 megapascal we will stop the pumps that's why we're jumping we're jumping from here that should be more that should be 27 yeah we jump from here we should basically skip these two uh, it's not a nice code but it's what i did because it was just the easiest way to do it second thing we then we now go and read the input so db as i said is the filtration unit so we read the input put into slot six uh, uh, register six now register six if it's uh, one thousand then it will go up if it's 49,000 to 49 49 megapascal it's a max and we'll try to go it down that's what this one we're doing i will go down to this three later on if it's 48 it will go up so keep going between max and, and max and normal keep fluctuating between this and this it's an ugly version of a pid pro a pid system pdi pdi pid whatever then regarding this slide up here if it's less than 101 in total then we'll go to orange and if it's more than 110 it'll go off and go to white up here it has to be 10 or less so the start pumps uh let me know just find them the race this is the first of the pump control we go to nine so we set the setting on this one let's just put them down to zero all of them so we can see actually they're working yeah so this one will go to nine and if it's normally go to seven if it's max go to two so it keeps going between these two normally doing normal production if you have a high pressure it's to avoid any explosion because it will fill up as much as it can and i try to have it as high as possible here but without damaging this pipe you don't want to damage it now yeah that's pretty much it uh, these numbers you can this number you can tweak as you want to, uh, to 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 have it within you know as high as possible. So let's try him out. So let's go and find in, in variables. We want to find race ratio oxygen. Yeah, that's how it's spelled. Good. I just want to be sure. So we change this one from volatile to oxygen. There we are. Lovely. Confirm. Export. So now it's on this chip. Pop him in here. Turn on, turn off. The reason why I turn on, turn off is basically just to ensure that uh, these two are labeled. We could also do them without labeling, but yeah. So now we have to find the pipe analyzer, which is right there. And then we want to find the tank, which is the oxygen tank. The oxygen tank. Come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Oxygen LD, oxygen nitrogen tank. Oxygen tank, there we are. Good. Now, when I turn him on now, he sh should go into red light here and then nothing else. Huh. Let's just have a look here. Oxygen LED. Ah, sorry, because I added this. I didn't add it full down here. <laughs> Whoops. So let's just pop him in there. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. Okay. I just missed the red part. Export. Let's try again. Go red. So the reason why he's red. Is because these two are currently empty you can see that one went to 10 that one went to 10 that one went to nothing before we <laughs> investigate what's going on there let's put him on to um, let's put these two in 
and he is now on. Lovely. So you see, he keeps fluctuating there. I keep saying there's a high pressure in there, but I think I think it's okay. It's making a little bit of noise. We can adjust it later on. But like, look at that, 68.73. Let me turn that. The pressure flying up. And as it's going at a decent speed, I would say. Of course, if that one gets full, it's shut down. If these two gets empty, it's shut down. Yeah, we'll just keep an eye on him to see if everything is working as it should. The next thing we do is the same one here. Let's name stuff. Let's see, what do we do? Take this name. This name. Let's say this is the carbon dioxide, but we do say carbon because I'm lazy that way. Carbon pump feed, carbon pump. Carbon pump, and carbon LED, and carbon tank. Yeah, lovely. Let's just have a look. Because eventually these get damaged. If they get the pressure for quite a high time, they actually get damaged. I just want to be sure this one is not getting damaged. We might we might have to adjust it, but we'll find out. If it's too noisy, we'll adjust it. Right, so go in here. We want to adjust this one to carbon. And that one. And that one. Here we want to write uh, ratio carbon. So that one. So is this one we want need? We need. We cannot copy it. I don't know why. It's a very annoying. But so carbon dioxide. Lovely stuff. Copy it out. Pop them in. Five, turn one, button. And it's red because these are again empty. So to fix this problem, of course, we, we take these two. And there's another error. What is that? So unknown line, line 22. Hmm. What's going on in line 22? Ah, yes, of course. I'm an idiot who hasn't done these yet. So we just had to find the pipe analyzer here. Right there, and here we need to find the tank, so carbon dioxide tank. There we are. Right. Let's turn on. And you see it's not running. Now why is that? Well, it's not an error. Because she's set to 15. Let's see here, what do we have here? We have here carbon, carbon, carbon. We have 4% carbon dioxide. So he will not run. It's, it's, he won't run. He's waiting for it to be more carbon in this pipe. That's good. Here we have the filters in. It's good. We have everything, we have nothing labeled, so we need to label things first. Uh, let's see, it's nitrous, what is it? What do we have here? We have nitrogen. So, nitrogen pump feed. Copy that, put that here, remove that. Copy that, pop it here. And LED and tank. Did I say tank already? I think it did. Uh, okay, right. Take we take the chip, pop it in here, and here we want now to write. Uh, yeah, move that. Don't take that. Put it here and put it here. And then we go here, 
find it just to be sure that we are right the right thing. So nitrogen right there. Lovely, lovely stuff. And he won't run either. What will he? Nitrogen, he's 6%. No, he won't. But what if we try to do something here? So let's just, just for fun in case, we adjust this one to, let's say, 5. Adjust that one to 5. Adjust this one, no, not 5, 0 0.5. This one to 4. So instead of 15 and 5%, it's 5 and 4%. So try to export. Put him in here. Turn on, turn off. Let's adjust these two. Right. Okay, let's turn him on. And he's off. They're off for the races. Pushing in as much as he can. Well, he's not pushing in as much as he can, but he's pushing quite a bit. And we are now processing some pressure here. The problem with this is when the pressure in this pipe goes down, now down to 13 megapascal, the speed and efficiency goes down a lot. And that's just how it is. Um, we, I might need to evaluate how we can to increase even more. If it's not at 50, oh. Yeah, I did have them ready also. Don't want to water in this pipe. <clears throat> okay. So, what are you doing now? You're doing 40. Oh, but look at that. That is insane how much more it makes. 49. We're, already, we're not even above 200 before. So, if you have a high pressure here, then this will go fast. So on a normal system where you have quite a high pressure, it will go decent fast. You can also make a tweak, so only one system can run at a time, but I don't think that's beneficial. Um, yeah, let's try to open up again, see if we can get some more ice in. You don't. I think I have a robot stuck somewhere. Yes, look at that stupid robot. Go stuck in this hole. Ugh. Let me just fill this up with some dirt. I feel like every time I go out looking for it, it's stuck somewhere. This is why I don't. I'm not a huge. Oh! Damn. That was not supposed to happen. Ah, oh, you stupid robot! So while we're out fixing the robot. This has been running for a little bit, and so has this. We still don't have it. We just, this is still not running, of course, because we have it, don't have any carbon dioxide in this particular pipe. Not anything that's worth mentioning. We have, oh, we have 11%. It's, it's not a lot. It's not enough. It's the oxygen we have a lot of from ice, I guess. Must be. Um. But yeah, that is pretty much the system how I am making it. And now I will just make the rest and uh, we'll see how they go. And we see how power consumption is when everything is linked up. Basically as it was before, but a bit more automation and control. So I realized something here that's a bit annoying. Now, now that I've actually finished most of it, you see that's running, that's running, that's running, that is running. And that is because of the pressures being so low now. So we have a bit of pollution here. We have five pollutant here, which is nothing. But we have 200 and two, 208 kilopascal, so it's nothing. So if you take this one, import that. Um, I want to do a little bit of adjustment here. So let's see. We do. We can do the same thing here again, and then do this one again, kind of, and then. Best list and tall. Uh, list and tall. And then we do five. Let's do five. This one's jumping to 29 now. And we want to do another one here. Call the same. 
<clears throat> the reason why I do this is because I, uh, I, I otherwise have to redo another code and I don't really want to do that. But I could technically just do a full stop, pre-stop something and then just go back to start. That could also work. Yeah, let's let's do that instead. Let's remove that. Remove that. Uh, let's take... Why is it stop? Stop pump. Uh, we take this one. Don't. Do not run. J, and then we want to do J start. So with J, we do not run. That's basically the same thing as this one, but we just jump back to start, so we basically just, we don't go further down. So we take these again, da, 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 da. like so, and then do not run. So we add the do not run to here, and here, and this is oxygen, so we load that out, export. What? Did I do? Ah! <laughs> right. Let's let's take the analyzer here instead. Let's take the analyzer here instead. And then we do press less than 5 years. And export. Pop it in there. That's better. So now we don't waste power if this one is so low. That is what we want to see. Awesome. So, yeah, that is, I will just add that to the code. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll just add this to all of them, that little bypass thing, um, so we can avoid power when we run so low. The, the 5 megapascal is adjustable. You can do whatever you feel like is enough there. I'd do 5 for now. I might go down to 1. Uh, well, let me just put on all of them and see what we're actually using for power now. So while I've been around adjusting them, I can see I've made a, a tiny mistake. Because here we write to the same register, we need to use on this. We need to look at the, this one after the first one. Which, yeah. <clears throat> I keep keep so we keep the tank and then we look at the tanks. Then okay, that's done. Then we go for the analyze. We look at the analyze. So when those two are done, then we can continue. So we export that, put in there. So now we're using 460, and nothing is actually running. Over here we have a total of 365 kilopascal. So if we adjust this one, if we take this one out again, and we remove, let's say we. To 50 here. 50 instead of 5,000. Like this. And export. He runs. Lovely. So we do 5 hours again. Great. So I think. I think this code that I have here is. It's not perfect. But it's better than what we had before. Like I mean, like look at that. That is insane. That is. Uh, I'm very happy with this. Salt. The amount we have in here now is just terrific. And these are all. It's all turning off by itself. We don't waste power. I need to replace that one, of course. But yeah, all in all, very nice. And uh, yeah, now we can have some color in here. And I do like this new model here. That is quite nice, actually. Right. That is all i have for today i will remember to upload this code with some comments up here so i will comment where you adjust to here 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 and here that's where you need to adjust the rest you can refer to so yeah i'll upload this and uh hopefully uh, you will like it or you should whatever that's up to you or get some ideas uh until next time have a good day and uh take care bye